Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss rotating key versus rotating secret. And guys, trust me, after you understand these concepts in detail and after you understand the difference among these concepts, you may get a little surprised. So, in this video, first we will have a quick recap that is key versus secret. Then we will discuss key expiry versus secret expiry. So, yes there is a difference among these two then we will understand what it means by rotation so guys rotation is nothing but creating a new version of key or secret and of course then finally we will discuss key rotation versus secret rotation and now let's first have a quick recap what is key versus secret So key, it is used for cryptographic operation. So for example, we can encrypt our storage account using key. And again, we can fetch this key from key vault. So see guys, this is our storage account and we are under security plus networking under encryption. And if you observe this encryption type, it says customer managed key. And this storage account has been encrypted using this key see the storage account encryption key and we are fetching this key from key vault okay and then secret so secret is nothing but a connection string to connect our storage account or to connect to our sql database so for example this is our key vault and we are under objects under secret and you can see we have added this connection string that is sql connection string okay And now guys, let's discuss the most important thing that is key expiry versus secret expiry. So guys, key expiry, expired key cannot be used for encryption. See, for example, this is our keyword and again we are under objects under keys. So this is our key which is used to encrypt storage account. Now let's open this key. So as of now, there is only one version of this key that is current version. So let's open this. And guys, observe this expiration date. So it is 2027 and today it's 2025. See this. So this key is not expired. So this key can be used for encryption. So if I go back and let's open this key. And observe this current version it is AF96 right and again this is our storage account and if you observe and the key version in use it's the same version that is AF96 see it's the same version so expired key can be used for encryption but in our case that key is not expired but guys the most important thing now older version of the key which is not expired you even that can be used for encryption so guys we may have let's say two versions one might be current version and one might be older version so if both these versions are not expired then we can use any of the version for encryption let me actually show you so again this is our keyword under keys so this is our key let's open it and again as of now we have just current version now let's create a new version so let me say new version i will say set expiration date and again i will keep it for 2027 and let's say create so now this is the current version right and this is the older version but for both these versions the expiration date is 2027 that is two years from today right so if if you go to our storage account see our storage account it is still using the older version see af96 so af96 so that's okay even though that is older version but this older version can still be used for encryption because it is not expired yet see that's the most important thing okay so guys, you may be thinking then what's the point of creating new version or what's the point of rotating, right? So if you go to our storage account again and can you see this automated key rotation? 
and if I take my mouse over here, it says when enabled automatically updates the customer manage key to the latest key version. See, read this. So basically what it means is, see, just two minutes back, we have created new version, right? But Azure storage account does not know that there is new version available. It checks for new version availability after 24 hours, that is once a day. So for 24 hours, it will still use that old version, but that's okay. It will still work because that old version is not expired yet. Okay. After 24 hours, this storage account will start using the latest version, but till that it can continue using the old version. Okay. But for secret expiry, expired secret, that is connection string, it still works. That is, we can still fetch the expired secret in our .NET app. So what I mean is, so again guys, we are in this keyword and this is our secret and again this is connection string. But observe this expiration date. So this is 1st March 2025 and today it is 1st April 2025. That means this connection string has expired. But our .NET app can still retrieve and use this connection string. But then why we should keep rotating secret? So it is just for good practice. So for example, our bank asks us to change our net banking password every three months or six months, right? So this is just a good practice. And now what it means by rotation. So guys, again, rotation is nothing but creating a new version. So, so again, we are in our keyword under keys. So again, this is our key and now you see, we have already created a new version. So that means we have already rotated this key. So again, rotation means creating a new version. So similarly, I can simply go here. I can open this secret. And here I can create a new version. But guys, there is a difference in creating a new version for a key and creating a secret new version for a secret okay and let's try to understand that so so now we are actually going to discuss key rotation versus secret rotation okay so guys key rotation is really simple so we have to just make sure that we create new version of that key before current version expires that is at least 24 hours in advance actually the good practice is we should rotate the key at least 30 days in advance. So in simple words, we should make sure that there is overlapping of expiry date of two versions of a key. So I know guys, you might be little confused. So let's see it in action. So see guys, this is the current version of our key. And if you see it expires on 30 April 2025, see 2025 and today it is 1st April 2025. That means after 30 days, it is going to expire. So if I create a new version now, that will be actually good practice because let's say, let's create new version and maybe I will set expiry date two years from today. Let's say create. So guys, let's say this is the current version and let's say this is the old version, which our storage account is still referring. So that's okay because the expiry date is 30 April, that is 30 days from today. So that's okay. For next 24 hours, it will still continue using this older version. But as it has, but as it is not expired, so our storage account can, will continue to work. And after 24 hours, it will start using this current version. So rotating a key is really simple, but secret rotation is not that straightforward. And let's try to understand why. So. So again guys, this is keyword and this is our secret that is connection string to connect to our SQL DB. So let's open it. So as of now, we have just one version that is current version. Let's actually open it. See the value of this secret. It is actually the connection string to connect to that SQL database, right? So we cannot simply just go and let's say new version and provide any random value here XYZ ABC. No, we cannot do that because with that random value, it will not be the actual connection string to connect to that SQL database, right? So our application will go down. 
सो आइडियली व्हाट वी शुड व्हाट व्हाट वी शुड डू इज वी शुड क्रिएट अ न्यू कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग इन दैट एस क्यू एल डेटाबेस एंड वी शुड यूज दैट कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग एज अ सीक्रेट वैल्यू ओवर हियर सो अगेन गेस एज यू कैन गेस की रोटेशन इज सिंपल बट सीक्रेट रोटेशन इज नॉट दैट सिंपल ओके सो वॉट यू हेव टू डू इज for secret rotation we have to follow this microsoft documentation and of course i will share this link in the description of this video so if you see the process see this is our keyword where we have stored the connection string for our storage account or for sql database so the first step before that secret gets expired our event greet event will be triggered right and it will call the azure function see guys secret is not expired yet okay so that azure function it will now generate a new key or new connection string for that sql database or for that storage account and it will update that in that sql or storage account right so again new key is generated and it's been updated in that sql db or storage account right and then that new key or that new connection string it will be updated as a new version of the secret so again it is not that simple as rotating a key so this documentation it provides the automated step for secret rotation so guys we are not going to do this in this video but you can simply follow this documentation and you can implement automated secret rotation okay so that's it guys for this video thanks thanks for listening